lower body. Let's open up some of my older models. You know, I came across this guy. I never finished them. He's got different parts to him. You know, I got his head. And then just kind of rough detail. I got his body. I separated it out. If I were to isolate this a little bit more, you can see that it's cut right there. It's safe from resolution. Um, little bandages that I probably could bind together so that they're not so. This doesn't get too crazy. Um, I need more detail. So what battle worn? But I'm deciding to get back into this model. Start modeling these little wrist wristbands. Getting that going. His boots didn't really get too far when I stopped. I guess you know you get busy. little straps on his feet I was thinking about changing his boots later but I don't know we'll see how that goes um, go ahead and start right here let's go ahead and rename this to head and I know orcs are overdone but I don't know they're fun either way it's just something to do whenever I was in ZBrush and started it back in the older versions but hit roadblocks and then you stop so now I'm gonna go ahead and add some subdivisions if you look at the mesh and did a, a Z remesher on it it looks like it looks like it followed pretty good on the the nose the eyes the brows the ears it did a decent job for what I need it just says because I'm gonna cover him up with a helmet or something I don't know we'll give him we'll give him some battle worn he's too clean you gotta dirty him up give him some more teeth his teeth are just there, just two. So I need to give him something else. So I'm give, him, give him maybe more. Get that and rough it in. Give him some gums. Um, get, get a little more detail. So I'll go ahead and start with his head. So this head's at the top. And uh, we'll subdivide that and give, we'll just go ahead and start adding detail to where I probably should have started years ago. This model's a couple years old, so I'm just still kind of going to get back in it and just see what we can do. Just slowly start adding detail. This is a it's a slow process, and I guess when you get in it, you just got to do a little piece at a time. You know, we can turn off everything else. We'll do solo. We can navigate a little bit better. So we'll start adding wrinkles and folds. So getting this in there. Get this going. And you might even need more subdivisions, but right now we'll just work with this for now. Just get this kind of smooth in there. Cut some lines. You know, we get some more definition. Wrinkles on the nose. I probably could use um, Sculptures Pro, but since I started this other way years ago, I'm gonna stay the old, older way, traditional way. His eyes are way back in there, so I can little wrinkles here and there. And we'll probably go back to Alpha brushes later on to give a little more detail, but the finest lips get that in there and kind of chisel out piece by piece start going this route and you see all these little details more chaotic so we're going to give them a lip Here. I don't know if I wanted to give him some horns or what, but we'll see what we can do. Let's go ahead and start varying up the lip. Needs more subdivisions, but for now we'll just kind of get this in there. 
so I can actually start getting more chaotic the better, right? So given given the details. Now I could probably use a different brush, but you know, damn standard's always been real good just for like the little details like this. So when you zoom out you can kind of see where, where he's going with this. Get a little rough worn. Not pretty, a little older, older character. I'm gonna start giving more detail to this guy. Cheekbones right here. And maybe since he's at work, he gets a little bit more kind of craziness going on. So, I'm gonna weather this down. I try to pose him in other versions in my model. And uh, that didn't seem to work because I wanted to keep adding more symmetrical parts to save time to work because you waste a lot of time if you don't have some symmetry on. Or you use more time. So, you, you know, and if you can go more traditional sculpting, you can sculpt that way. But sometimes in the long run, you'll burn a lot of time doing that. I found that out. If you don't have symmetry, you're going you're gonna to eat it up somewhere. And it looks better, but it depends on how much time you got. I don't, lately, I haven't had enough time to sit down, but making time today. So I'm gonna start sculpting in this little detail. You can see from a distance. And since I didn't plan on zooming in on this character, uh, I'm not gonna put crazy amount of detail. That's unless uh, this computer will handle it. And it has, it's an older computer. But that's all I like about ZBrush. You can push, you can push a lot in it, and you keep on going. And ZBrush will keep on hitting back. So just being mindful of that, and I can probably decimate it later on. To keep a backup mesh once I get to a happy point. Just going to define his ears a little bit more. Uh, just dig in there, dig these ears out. his ears so. and this is only a couple minutes just doing a little detail here and there but you can already see you got the head going on with some detail I should have made a duplicate and showed what, what it was before uh, I can always open the older model and, and show you that too but for now this is this is where it's at so don't forget to save save as and you see all my iterations all my versions so it's not that 18 it's gonna be version 19 there's nothing wrong with doing this many versions all right these ears are kind of high but I don't know we could probably lower those I don't know what's work anatomy so if I was going to lower it, probably drop down the subdivision. Just kind of drag it down right here. So just a little bit. Maybe he needs his ears that big. Who knows? Let's see. I think at the time I was really into Lord of the Rings. And it stuck with me. So I was just like, hey, you want to do a model? And then that's where I'm at didn't finish the model <laughs> so now I gotta come back in and start adding some details so any little chaotic chaos chaos in the model gets a little more character give it going right there <clears throat> you can actually add enough my smooth, we don't need it too high, we'll drop it down so it's not so. I could probably smooth with the other Peaks and Valley smooth brush, but I'm happy with this brush for now. This one works, it seemed to work. It doesn't let me down. So, I'm going here, start subdividing. 
or not subdividing me, you know, pushing and pulling. I'm gonna shrink that down a little bit. He's proud, make him, make him kinda angry. He's angry. So I don't know if orcs have eyebrows. They is were burned off in the in the fire. Stands out from the other reindeer. So I'm just start getting that little detail in there. Like I said, I'm not gonna be zoomed in this close on the on the part of the comping, so it won't matter. Like when you look at it from this distance, it reads. And if I were to screw it in a little more, you can see it. You can see the detail. Turn it on. I'm gonna zoom out to this far anyway on all this stuff you can you can make out shapes sometimes you don't have to get every wrinkle to get it in there and if I plan on printing it you probably won't print out the wrinkles anyway um, let's see what this detail does if it reads with the lighting I'm starting to process it right now and countdown That's 20 seconds computer slow And this is what it looks like. See, a little bit of lighting. You can kind of see that quick detail. Let's see if I can find the older one that I had. Uh, maybe it was this model. Let's we'll see. Um, four. Yeah, there you go. Before and after. So let's go in. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom a little more. I had opened up an older model, so this is this is kind of a reference point. You can see how clean he looked, smooth, didn't really look finished. And then I just, just that little bit. That was just ten minutes of just focusing on one spot, and then you get all this little detail in there, and it, and it just doesn't take. It don't take much. You know, you just gotta just keep on pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. You know, get them, get them a little weathered, and worn. And we'll leave that. Up. We'll leave that mesh open for reference, and I'll start getting some more detail in here. So let's go ahead and start adding in here. I might need a Z uh, remesh it again, depending on how much quality I get out of this, but it should work for now. I'm not too crazy right now. Let's go into the, this mode and try to blend that right. Blend these two together. Let's go ahead and isolate this. Let's go to um, boom. Go ahead and focus on this neck. I'm using the clay buildup brush on here. It gives a little pretty, pretty solid, pretty solid detail. See now it looks like he's got little skin folds and stuff. A little more age right here. We'll go ahead and start cutting in. Give that a little more detail. That way you can start seeing it. So, and later on I can use the alpha maps to kind of actually get more detail with the overall general um, shapes and def definition. But for now we'll just cut in what the spots we want to see. I rarely see under his neck unless he's looking up. Who knows where that goes when I'm posing. So, a little more intensity on this. Oop. Just keep, try to keep some of the extra detail. This, see, we don't know if we're going to do a horn. And then I did another video on horns, on doing insert mesh on on horns and stuff like that so let's see what we can do later on with that we'll start probably make another horn so make it another thing but let's see that just, just push it and pull push it and pull start carving in damn standard right here and just working 
working in the model. So we just got a little, little rougher right there. But we can start bridging this gap, keeping this, keeping that going right there. Yeah. It's got a long jawbone, I guess. I'm not sure why I did that. But, you know, you can still push it and pull it. Maybe that's a lot of meat and muscle right here. He's got to eat. So, I didn't, I didn't really pay attention to the anatomy, I guess, when I start, started this model, but we can always fix it. Let's see, we'll, we'll kind of chisel him up a little bit. Maybe that's just a little body fat. Or just gotta eat, so we'll connect this to the, the ear. Okay, cut it off a little bit so it doesn't look like he's. Yeah, he's kind of chunky monkey right there. We'll give him a little chunky monkeyness right there. Yeah, big head. So, this guy, he's not shaped like a regular human head I guess that's what I was going for when I did it I was trying to bury him up I don't know here's hand touch his model so but we'll go ahead and define this right here just going to cut in that ear a little bit With a little more definition carve it down yeah definition carve it down you gotta <laughs> what is it There you go. Oh. Look at that. Go ahead and soften that up right there so we get a little, a little more contrast from here to there. That way it's not, a, not so. Um, and we can define areas. So you got your ear. I'm just going to push the pull a little bit. Let's go ahead and damn standard a little bit so you get a little, little damn standardness. Folds, folds of skin. There you go. See that? This is like a better here. We'll go ahead and put some folds back here. Who knows? We're not going to see a lot of this, but you never know. He's got these. And then sometimes you got to do the, do the thing right here so you can tell that he's been been eating he's been eating real good so we'll start giving a little a little bit of a because he got big old noggin you see look at that so we're good let's go ahead and fill it up it's like a UFC fighter let's see he's just he's got that bulkiness to him Ready, he's ready to jump in the ring. He's got that mass going. I'm gonna start building this up a little bit, smooth it out. He was probably gonna put a helmet, but given his head, you know, he's only probably gonna have to <laughs> we have to figure something out. See, a little lumpiness. Let's give let's go ahead and do that. Let's let's, let's flatten it some. It's been a battle. Not gonna be perfect. Let's give, give him a few, a few accents here and there. Got hit. That's where he got hit at. And so I didn't really think about trying to push him back too far in there, but let's go ahead and look at the rest of the detail. We're gonna turn on this. And you can see this is where it's going with it. A lot of definition here, so he's kind of bulky. We probably should have you know, gave him a little more bulk right here, but uh, he might work for now. Let's see. Let's just, just push out that little bit. See if it see if it don't break the mesh with the other meshes. Ooh, I didn't do some symmetry. Look at that. I didn't use symmetry. I wonder why. Now I'm like thinking, like, what did I do? 
stretch this out because he needs you gotta have you gotta have that muscle. If you're gonna flow from this to that, you know, you gotta have that extra more muscle right there. Push it, push it, pull, push it and pull. Alright. Looks like he's got like a weird thing, but we're never gonna see this, but some some little voice inside saying you gotta fix that. <laughs> so little things then the tricky part once you start getting models more more defined this this is what happens this stuff right here you have to fix it as you go what is that look at that the floaty piece it's probably from whenever I uh, um, did the what do you call it the mask uh, extract so that's boom delete hidden that's how you deal with that and then this didn't look like it got detailed either. It was looked like I still kind of wanted to add some stuff, but let's go ahead and add some definition. See how dense this model is? It's kind of weird jumping into an older model all these years. That's like, so why you gotta finish your stuff the same day. That's true. You, if you don't touch a model for so long, you're just gonna forget what you did or why you did it. You're like, man. Or you just start over and then have like 10 projects that you didn't complete like me so we start with model one is where it started i don't know what i'm trying to do here let's see i think it looks like a face let's go ahead and carve a face a little bit and i guess this could be like a symbolized work face because it will follow his nose his work plastered on his chest or something, I don't know, the Orc King, so let's start integrating that, and I didn't want this to be perfect, because I don't think Orcs would be caring how detailed, like, oh, you didn't do that right corner too good, and that's why I didn't really want to get this too def defined, I want to add some battle wearing to it, I'm not even sure, um, like this crease, you know, would it work? Have creases like this? I don't know. I need a battle. Unless he stole it from somebody, and then I could understand that. Did he steal it? Who knows? Oh, Ooh, what are these claws? Yeah, we'll do them claws in, I guess. We'll probably grunge this up a little bit more. Not so clean. We'll probably scuff that up, maybe that's the few things that look kind of clean, maybe this will be a claw, I don't know, let's see, bird claw, he pleads in birds, he goes, I love my bird, the bird is where it's got, uh, maybe a bird claw, it looks like a bird claw, I'm going to go with that, bird claws, Like I miss my bird. It's a good. I don't know. We'll work here. A bird, a parrot. So you can see. Or he just loves Freddy Cougar and this is Freddy Cougar's hand. We'll see. Time will tell. I'm just going to find that. See, I already kind of. rid of that clean, clean clean look give him some kind of like a mold so if I were to go to the old model let's see what it looked like old model click and then new model old new a little detail but what is I trying to do here we don't know Probably give it like a, a rougher look. Is that, I, I felt like the other way was more like He Man with the. And that's probably where I got this kind of idea from. You remember Skeletor? I think he had like his chest plate. I think I was going that route. Let's not go that route. Let's go this route. Well, we're going both routes. And boom. Like 
wrap skin or something on, a, on, a, on his chest plate. We'll go that route. Yeah. Zigzag that in. See? Just little details. I've only spent about a good 20 maybe minutes. Let me see. Is there a time clock? 25 minutes. And that's not including opening and rendering a little bit. And then you get this. So I'll try to continue adding details to this model and see where it ends up. A lot of the little details that I wanted looks like I made them too clean and now I'm looking at it and I'm like I need a battle worn make it all battled up and then I, I could probably pose it afterwards but that's my little bit of time for today we we'll just keep on pushing towards this model getting this out the door I um, think I want to include some extra teeth just so you can follow where I'm going I don't know maybe we'll put some little spiky stuff on his face little horns maybe he you know has horns I don't know if that's traditional with orcs but I like horns we'll stick them on there maybe give them some horns right here just make them all crazy looking like like he's like a like the boss battle so this is quickly rendered not quick but you know it rendered <laughs> and so this is where we got just this little space if you go to the old one boom and that was just a couple of minutes of sitting down so let's try to keep this momentum going while we got it keep that fire alive this is where I'm at